All right, ladies and gentlemen, up next for the next speech, we have uh, Sherry, the sister of the groom. Hi, everyone. For those of you that don't know me, I'm the shy one in the family. So I was told, I was told that um, I was supposed to keep my speeches under 90 seconds. So, yeah, I was told 90 seconds, and... They just told me that yesterday, so they, they took too long. I've been writing this speech for 39 and a half years. <laughs> took Jamie that long to find the right person to marry. I think he made a good choice, but I do have a lot of things to tell everyone in this room about my little brother. As I've gotten older, and especially since I became a business owner, my level of tolerance has really dropped off. Uh, especially when it comes to stupidity or when it comes to the way that people talk to you or people treat you. Uh, my level of tolerance has just really dropped off. But one person that I always gave a pass to was of course my sister Sherry. Now her and I always shared a lot of the same traits. Uh, I mean for one thing I don't consider myself to be an idiot by any stretch and Sherry always was very smart uh, and from the time she was a teenager, she seemed to know a good deal when she heard it. And so I went to college. I ended up staying here in Brockville, going to school. Um, and mom and dad kind of talked me into that because dad threw out, I'll buy you a car if you stay home. So then it was like, go to university and do everything on my own or stay home. Mom cooks all my meals, she does the laundry and I get a car. So they talked me into staying home. So I stayed home. Another thing that uh, my sister was always really good at doing was dishing it out. You know, dishing out teases and dishing out jokes and, and you know, being really quick with comebacks. And uh, one thing that she teased me about my entire life was my name. Uh, you know, I was born James. Growing up, my family to this day always calls me Jamie back home. But to my friends, I'm either James or Jimmy. But this, this has always been a spot my sister would just push the buttons on. And you'll notice I call him Jamie because that's his name. He goes by James, but his name is really Jamie because when he was born, that's what mom and dad called him for 18 years until he decided when he went to university, he wanted to be called James. And I said, until the day I die, I'm calling you Jamie. I said that at his wedding and he, he actually, uh, he actually tried to throw one in because he put it on his wedding invitation so that I wouldn't have the, you know, the full advantage of telling everyone, but it doesn't matter if he did any at the wedding, but yes, his name is Jamie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure mom and dad probably didn't call him James in their interviews either. <laughs> not that I heard. No. No, so that's not his name. In 2015, I bought a cottage on the St. Lawrence River in Ontario, Canada. Uh, and because I don't live there, I had my sister and her husband manage the place for me. And uh, that became an, a, a running joke always that my sister loved to, to tell. She would happily tell everybody that I had actually bought her a cottage. Uh, fast forward a few years and in 2018, I bought a new house in Toronto. Uh, and the joke carried right over. And uh, you know, not only now had I bought her a cottage on the St. Lawrence River, but I, I had also now found her her retirement home in Toronto. Uh, but we each still have our own space because they're still, you know, we're all still able to live on our own, which is nice. And when it comes to the point that they can't, everyone's going to live with Jamie and his big house in Toronto. That's the point. I grew up a fan of pro wrestling. Uh, it was a passion of mine from the time that I was a kid. And that passion led to a story that I have heard dozens and dozens of times over the years from Sherry, especially or particularly at my own wedding. As I remember when Jamie was about nine or 10, which would make me 13 or 14, I got dragged to the Brockville Memorial Center where we grew up to go and watch wrestling, wrestling in Brockville. My dad was in Holland visiting the family so my mom had to take us because at the time obviously neither of us could drive. So there's my mom sitting there knitting beside me 
I'm sitting there going, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is the most fake entertainment I've ever seen. That's not real. He's not really hitting him with that chair. And there's Jamie. Yeah! So to be honest, now you can all understand why all the wrestling belts walked in today. So I'm glad I could at least be part of that 30 years later. You know, they say opposites attract. Uh, and in my case, I married a woman who was softer spoken than I was. Uh, I met a woman who was not as aggressive as I am. And I met someone whose interests in music and in food and in movies were a lot different than me. On the other side of the spectrum, sometimes people marry their exact match. Sometimes they, they marry their mirror image. Uh, and my sister kind of did that with her husband, Ron. Just like her, he's always had uh, a quick wit and he's always had a good sense of humor. Uh, but just like her, he was never afraid to dish it out and, uh, and stand up for himself. But sometimes even Ron had to take a back seat and sometimes even he had to know his place when it came to my sister, including at their own wedding. And I felt more than welcome and I really appreciate the warmth and, and love that you have given me over the last seven years. And, now I can say that I'm a Gil too, since my name's finally changed. It took your brother an awful long time to do that, but he finally did. Finally. Now, as I mentioned, my sister and I always shared a lot of the same traits. Uh, and even though she loved to dish it out to me, sometimes I like to dish it right back to her. And so for no reason whatsoever, I just felt like wrapping up by showing you a clip of her dancing to the Macarena at her wedding in 1990. 